So, it's been a while. Four or five days? Four or five days, all right. Well, welcome back to this Cleveland Cavaliers My League. And if you cannot tell, uh, I am a bit under the weather, still a little bit sick, not as much though. Um, I did not upload because I was pretty damn sick, to be honest. So that's why I'm talking a bit low, chilling out. The videos will be, you know, come back daily. So, you know, hopefully you all haven't left. So, here we are. We got the offseason. I think it was this the third offseason of the Cavs My League. The team's looking like Jimmy Butler, Gobert, Colin Sexton. You already know the trail. Rudy Gobert is a free agent, by the way. So, we're going to we're gonna give him a lot of money. But we're at the NBA draft right now. That's what we got to worry about right now. So, I got the 17th and 28th pick. One from the Jazz, one from the Blazers. And Jabari Parker over here. So, I might package these three and see what I can get. Maybe move up in the draft. Maybe get a starting caliber player. I honestly don't know. Maybe I'll get Booty Cheeks, which is what it's looking like. Oh my god. Actually, Karis LeVert was bad. That's not a bad trade, Karis LeVert. But, the, yeah, these trades are not looking pretty pretty. All right, we're going to draft Nicholas Lyons from Ray Providence. All right, we're drafting Nicholas Lyon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. All right, we're going to draft this Rob... I'm not even going to say his name. Nope, I'm not going to say his name. But we drafted a point guard and power forward who will probably get traded. Cade Cunningham went second to the... Sun. Okay, that makes sense. The Hawks, they got Trey Young. So that kind of makes sense why they didn't draft him. Uh, where's our pick? 17. We got... A 70, oh boy, yeah, he's going to be packaged in the trade. We're going to trade him 100%. 19, you know, he might have potential, but we don't need him. We really don't need him. So, where's 28th, this dude? 71 over, okay, not terrible. Free agency, yeah, we're the Cavs. We can afford a max player, but who the hell wants to come to Cleveland? I'm trying to keep this semi-realistic. No one's coming to effing Cleveland. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to do a package deal. I'm going to see. I still have Trey Young. We're doing Trey Young deal. We're picking up Trey Young and Goran Dragic for Garland, Vernon Carey, um, our rookie power forward in a first round pick. We just picked up Trey Young to complete this big three. By the way, I didn't mention. First of all, if you're new here, subscribe. But, um, when we were in championship, I'm going to end this series and start a new my league. Probably going to be an expansion or I'll do like a Western Conference team. Let me know. But we are going to trade Goran Dragic and it's $14 million. Uh, we get Ty Jerome. That's actually not terrible. Ty Jerome. I'm looking for first round picks though, honestly. Even though it's not worth first round picks in real life. Maybe one. But two for, ooh, from the Pistons. Two picks. Two picks from the Pelicans. Hmm. Gary Harris, not terrible. Uh, the Lakers, two picks. One to Pelicans. Uh, Justin James. My... Ooh, two Hawks picks. We just took away Trey Young from them. And Goran. Wow, how the tides have turned. We're giving them back Goran. Yeah, I'm doing this trade. Back to back Hawks picks, and their team's not very good. It's extremely young without Trey Young. That team's not making the playoffs. I'm definitely doing this deal. Well, those are two lottery picks. Alright, we're going to re sign Rigo Bear to a massive five year, $200 million extension. That fifth year being a player option. Oh my god, that's going to be the biggest free agency signing because we can't sign anyone else. We don't have the money now. And no one wants to come to F in Cleveland. So I might sign some minimum guys here and there. Maybe like a Kelly Olenek, a Bielinsa. But yeah, we're going to pick up Rudy Gobert and get past the moratorium. We are losing some key players like Bismack Biombo. But he actually, I might be able to bring him back for the minimum, to be brutally honest with you. So we're going to get Rudy Gobert four years. It's really five years, 200 mil. He's got that player option. But this series probably isn't going to go on for that long. I guarantee you we win a championship. All right, so player progression. Trey Young is now a 90 overall, our best player. We got Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gobert, Sexton. We did sign, I mean, trade for Matisse Thybul. And signed T.J. McConnell. This team's actually really good. This 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 team will win the championship next year. I can guarantee it. All right, this is the lineup. Trey Young, Sexton, Butler, Parker, Rudy Gobert, center. Parker is going to be starting for us after his good year off the bench. Gobert, we got a center. This is a bad defensive starting lineup. Butler and Gobert are the only good defenders. But we got Thibault to come off the bench to defend for us. So that's actually a really good pickup. 
TJ McConnell to provide some scoring. Kevin Porter Jr. can also beast on defense. Bismack Biombo is a good defender. Porter averaged a steal and a block for us last year. So that's solid. This dude, I, I believe I signed him. He's got like A rebounding, A minus rebounding. So he's probably going to be like the backup center for us, to be honest with you. So Bismack might not even get minutes. Uh, we got Brandon Knight back. All right. And Nick Stouse. Did Nick Stouse just play for the Cavs? He did. He, yeah, he got traded from Portland to Cleveland. And never played again, apparently. So that's interesting. I'm excited for this Matisse Thibel. I'm excited for him to be on this team. Probably the best defender to come out of that draft. All right, we're going to take a look around the league. Cole Anthony Oladipo and Bradley Beal actually signed with the Miami Heat. I moved Oladipo to small forward because that would be logical on what they should do. But it looks like they're still keeping him off the bench. He's still got Tyreek Hero. This team's really good. They just don't have a, any big men. They have no big men. It's like the big three heat. They also got Cole Anthony, I think that was. Kadeem Allen is a starting point guard for the Knicks. And DeMar DeRozan's in New York. Oh, my God. RJ Barrett's coming off the bench. They got Sabonis, Kevin Knox. Where's Dennis Smith Jr.? Yeah, he's probably like a low overall. Here's the Hawks team. Garland, Vernon Carey, Marcus Saul they brought in. You got Cam Reddish, Bogdan. All right, that's an interesting Hawks team. Bledsoe. Oh, yeah, this. Where's Giannis? Tobias Harris. Where's Gian? Where did Giannis go? Okay, we're going to figure out where Giannis went. Uh, the Bulls signed Kawhi. Oh, why does Kawhi never resign with the Clippers in this game? Dude, the Bulls got Kawhi. We might not win a championship. The East is so good. Okay, the Wizards. Oh, my God. Oh, they got Bam. Okay, we're going to say it was a sign and trade. Maybe it was a sign and trade. Because we all know that they couldn't afford Bam because they signed. Bradley Beal, but you know what? In our imaginary world, it was a sign and trade. That's a good pickup for the Wizards. Bam Adebayo is going to be a beast. Trust me, as a Heat fan, he's going to be a beast. Paul George went to the Raptors. Oh, boy. They might win a championship. They're definitely a championship contender now. This is not looking good for us. The Celtics stood exactly the same. Kevin Love still balling. He had a solid season. So, oh, boy. It's not going to be easy for us. We got a big three, but... That Heat team, I'm scared of. I'm scared of the Heat team. Where's Josh Richardson? We know Tobias went to Milwaukee. Where's Josh Richardson? Oh my god, the NBA changed so much. So Jay Rich is not on the Sixers anymore. Gordon Hayward found his way to Orlando after two seasons with Portland. That's intriguing. Also, Dennis Schroeder's on the team. Mark Hill Fultz is a starting point guard for the... Pacers. Brockton starting a shooting guard now since Old Depot's in Miami. Blake Griffin, I didn't even notice, is on the Pacers. Dude, and then our team. We got CJ McCombs on the Pistons. Yeah, this Pistons team's not good, though. Yeah, that's not a very good team. Lonzo Ball is on the Hornets. Michael Porter Jr. is also on the Hornets. With the Son White side. Yo, what is going on with this league? What happened? The Nets are exactly the same. Yep. No major pickups. Uh, and we're back to the Miami Heat now. Rockets, they only picked up Rudy Gay, which is a good pickup, but that's it. Uh, the Lakers suck. Besides their big three. Yeah, they got no one. Uh, the Mavericks, Nico Mania, they brought back Dennis Smith Jr. Interesting. Okay. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins they brought in. I guess he didn't want to stay in Miami. Probably should have, buddy, because they need big men now. Oh, boy. Uh, the Clippers, they are going to be a lottery team. Marcus Aldridge is on the Clippers for some reason. Uh, I guess he signed with them after getting traded to Milwaukee and then getting traded to Philly. Uh, the Warriors are still the same. Still haven't found a small forward. d -Load's coming off the bench. Why aren't they playing Clay at small forward? Uh, the Nuggets. The, oh, Gallinari's back in Denver. That's interesting. The Spurs are suck, except they got Chris Middleton, actually. They got John Collins. What, no, go back. They got John Collins. Dude, oh my god. The Jazz are the same, except they got Pascal. I traded him there. Oh, Pelicans, Jalen Adams, and Jalen Green. So that means Drew Holiday's coming off the bench. He's only an 80 overall. I'm not sure if that's digression or he got injured. I don't know. But Wiggins is coming off the bench now. The Suns are the same. They just picked up Otto Porter. What's with them in small forwards? Uh, the Giannis went to the Blazers. 
Giannis and Damian Lillard on the same team. That is not going to be fun. They are making it to the finals. I don't care what they're they are they got to make it to the finals. Grizzly is looking at, they got DeJounte Murray. Jesus Christ, dude. Chris Paul. Oh, there's Josh Richardson. He's on OKC. Ball out, my guy. Ball out on OKC. You shouldn't be wearing number zero. They also got Paul Millsap and Zach Collins. You shouldn't be wearing number zero, but I'll get I'll give you a former number back. He used to wear number 14 in the summer league with the Heat. And the Kings didn't change anything. They brought Josh Jackson in, so that's solid. All right, and we are going to be back at the Rockets. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. That that was a wild episode.